This past year has worn out a lot of moms from having the kids home learning remotely to simply trying to keep them healthy and safe. Dr. Kate Steiner is a burnout recovery coach and she's here to help us plan for more intentional downtime this summer. Thanks for joining us, Kate. Thank you so much for having me. I'm always happy to be here. And why is it so important to have a do nothing summer, as you say? Yeah, so it is important for us to, it's not just a do nothing summer, but it's really for us to capitalize on some intentional planning for downtime during the summer. You know, growing up and in, in, within school, we always, I always thought of summertime as, you know, the reset time, the recovery time, the relaxation time. But when we don't plan that out, we, we kind of almost shame ourselves when we're not doing something that, oh, I should be doing something productive. But when we plan it out and plan to do nothing during our summer, we actually are able to enhance our productivity because we're giving ourselves that intentional break. Absolutely. I was going to say half the battle is just giving yourself mm -hmm. permission to, yes. <laughs> to not do anything and to, and to, you know, strive or, you know, work on progress. So, so, so what are some ways that we can, you know, practice self-care? Yeah. So this summer, it's really important to one, establish what you need as far as your boundaries or non-negotiables for your summer break. Do you need some intentional time away from work? Do you need some intentional time away from your yard work or the worry about your garden and those kinds of things? Do your kids need an intentional kind of, you know, break to really get out all of their, all of their wiggles and, you know, spend some time at the pool. So what does that look like? So first establishing, what is it that you need in order to recover? And then you want to think about establishing a summer comfort list. So mm -hmm. talked before about comfort list, and these are things that bring you comfort, joy, calm, but I think they change from season to season. So for example, something that's on my summer comfort list is time in my hammock. So utilizing that time, I'm, I generally pretend like I'm going to read a book, but I know I'm going to fall asleep. So <laughs> what does that look like? And that brings me a lot of comfort and joy. And it's generally not a long nap, but enough for me to feel rejuvenated and energized at the end. So identifying the things that you're going to use this summer to bring you comfort. I can definitely come up with things that bring me comfort, uh -huh. but I think the yeah. hard part is setting the boundary and like saying, yes. no, exactly. like N-O, no. no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> right, no to everything else and giving yourself permission to do that. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it feels yeah, like Yeah, and that can be hard. Yeah, well, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, for more tips like these, you can head over to liftwellnessconsulting.com. Thank you all.